half life period the time required to disintegrate one half of any radioactive substance is called half life period so an atom is the how much time it will take to divide into or to reduce into 50% the half life period of your radioactive substance is independent of initial integration and concentration it depends only on the disintegration constant lambda of the radioactive element t half is used to indicate the relative stability of a radioactive substances if t half is the shorter faster is the rate of decay and hence the substance is more unstable and vice versa so t half is equal to 0.693 divided by lambda so average life tau is equal to 1 by lambda is equal to t half divided by 0.693 which indicates 1.44 into t half but lambda is the disintegration constant since radioactivity is a nuclear phenomenon it must be connected with the instability of the nucleus obviously so let's talk about the three different rays alpha particle is equal to the bundle of two protons and two neutrons and hence it is equal to the helium nucleus beta particle is the fast moving electron and gamma radiation is a wave of a very short wavelength with a very high energy let's discuss on the nuclear binding energy so as you know nuclear binding energy is nothing but the energy which is taking care of binding the nucleus whenever the nucleus is formed certain mass is converted into energy hence for atom the atomic mass is lower than that of the sum of the masses of protons neutrons and electrons present the difference in mass is termed as mass defect so this is the measure of the binding energy of proton and neutron in the nucleus The relation between mass energy is explained by Einstein as delta E is equal to delta m into c square. But delta E is the change in energy, and m is the delta m is change in mass, and c is the speed of light, which is three into ten power eight meter per second. That's it. Thanks for watching our G Tech Techno Solution product. Thank you.